Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I'm Tommy Grimes and I vlog about people, places, and things that I love from the city of brotherly love to the city of angels. And I would love for you to follow me on my journey and you can hit subscribe if you want to do that. Uh, I also started a new vlog series about DNA testing where I'm searching for my dad's biological family. So you can go ahead and check that. I'll put a card up there so you can, you can find it. Um, so today I'm walking to the expo line so that I can go somewhere in LA that I've spent more time than any other place. And that's the Apple Store in Santa Monica because I used to work there for three and a half years. So my iPhone is on the fritz. It's multi-touch stopped working at the top. So I booked a Genius Bar appointment using the Apple support app. And I thought it'd be a fun opportunity to show you guys how to have a successful Genius Bar appointment. So here we go. A couple things you wanna do before you have a Genius Bar appointment, you wanna back up your phone. You wanna make sure it's on the most current operating system. And you wanna know all of your passwords because there's nothing worse than sitting there in the store trying to remember all your stuff and knowing that you can't get all your data back unless you know that Apple ID password. So make sure you have it all written down or memorize it. It's also a good idea to kind of know if your problem's a hardware or software issue to begin with. I'm fairly certain that mine is a hardware issue. If you're not sure, you can erase your phone and start over from scratch, like not from the backup, and see if the problem's still happening. Because if it's a software problem and they replace it and you restore from a backup, it's just gonna keep coming back and that's no fun. A lot of times you can solve your problems by just talking to Apple support over the phone or talking to Apple Care. You also wanna have a good idea about what your warranty situation is. So my phone is a little over a year old, but luckily I have Apple Care and you can always check that in the app as well. So, so I got about 15 minutes before my appointment. It's always important to be on time and it's usually beneficial if you're not in a rush. It's nothing worse than like having an appointment and feeling like you're gonna be late for something. Like never go before you have a flight or have to catch like a train or something. It's a terrible idea. Bring some reading material with you. Bring another Apple device if you can. It's usually gonna come in handy. And uh, because I think that they're going to replace my screen first, I'm anticipating that they're gonna take my phone and then I'll have to wait however long it's gonna take them and I'll have to find somewhere to kinda sit without a phone for a while. So just keep that in mind. If it's a display issue or something they can replace, they're probably gonna do that first because they don't wanna be wasteful. Uh, yeah. This is so weird. I have so many memories here. This is the way I used to walk to work every day. Oh, it's crazy. Apple's like the best retail job you could ever have. Um, for some reason, they look at my phone and find out it's like damaged in some way, then I can be looking at paying the deductible to get it repaired. Don't be mean to your technician. They're seeing lots and lots of people every day and trying to help them and they've heard every story. So be truthful because they've heard everything. Honesty, the best policy, right? Don't try to cut the line when you're there. Don't think that you're more important than anybody else. Don't think that your time is more important than anybody else's. Uh, just be patient. I know it's hard, but you're gonna have the best results. Weekdays are the best time to go usually in the morning. Every Apple store is a little different with how their traffic patterns work, but for down here, if I remember right, it seems like the morning is kind of like the best time. It's actually my first time going back into an Apple store for almost like two years. I quit December 15th, 2017. I'm putting in my resignation for Apple. Ah, I did it! Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. So this is kind of crazy. I kind of purposely stayed away for a while because I spent a lot of my life in an Apple store. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so they took my phone, just like I thought they were going to do. And uh, in about an hour, or hour and a half, should be ready for me to pick up. This is actually my happy place right here. This is the Palisades Park in Santa Monica. I used to go for runs here every day after work. <laughs> and it is actually my happy place. I love this. It's beautiful. It's by the water. We'll see. My phone is fixed. They had some new tools too, which is pretty cool. They're very nice. All right, so after about an hour wait, my phone is now working again. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, share it, like, subscribe, all those good things. And uh, I will see you all next week. Have a good one.